Comic Girls is a confection, like cotton candy, an inoffensive comedy about cute girls. The twist? These high school girls are all professional manga artists, or mangaka, living in a dorm so they can draw their manga in peace while also juggling their studies because they're high school girls, of course. But make no mistake, other than an insight into the relationship between an artist and their editor, you'll learn very little about the actual process of drawing manga here. Instead, you'll get cute girls worrying about deadlines, walking around town for a breather between marathon work sessions, and generally living their lives. Actually, I'm selling this series a little short. By the end, without getting into spoilers, the show does deal with the emotional strain of creating art on a schedule. I actually found myself quite encouraged by the girls' difficulties and how they, let's just say, find ways to work through them. The show stars four girls, and I'm going to be reductive here, the calm older girl, the happy-go-lucky girl, the boyish girl, and the lowly. Interestingly, the lowly is the central character, and she's the one who has the hardest time of all of them. On the one hand, she did get a one-shot published, but every other idea she's had has been thoroughly rejected by her editor. And on the other, she freaks out about deadlines and struggles the most with self-confidence out of all of them. She's literally nicknamed Chaos Chan. And granted, this setup makes for an effective central character. Everyone else rallies around her, and you can contrast their working style to hers to see different ways of approaching art. The upbeat tone of the show is perfectly complemented by its art style. Bright, cheerful colors are matched to a relatively high animation budget that allows for the typical screwball comedy over-the-top reactions. I listen to this in Japanese, and the voice actors generally do a fine job of representing their characters' distinctive personalities. They all sound different, though I found Chaos's high-pitched voice a little squealy at times. And that's the thing. I think this is a show that will immediately irritate some fans, but endear itself to others. It's a perfect example of the post-moe anime, where cute girls interact in a show with an actual premise behind it and a developing plot. And yes, things do change a bit in Comic Girls, but, you know, spoilers. Anyway, Moe haters are likely to bounce off Comic Girls, while those willing to embrace its cuteness will find an upbeat, positive show about working through difficult times, which, granted, is a message I think we could all use now and then.